Let's play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, Malkavian Edition, brought to you on behalf of GameAnyone.com by Frozen Foxy. Let's go place this werewolf blood uh, into our box. There we are. Alright. And where is that? There it is. Give. Exit. There we are. Perfect. That was quick and painless. Except for the gunshots that hit me. Ah! Masquerade Redemption. Lovely. We, uh, have made ourselves look better again. Now then, where's that diner that we were supposed to uh, find some information about his lovely little flower? That looks like a diner to me. Hello, diner. That guy looks kind of creepy. Is that just me, or does he actually look creepy? Yeah, creepy. Anyway, how's it going? What'll it be? I see a pear girl in my mind. Have you seen the pale girl too? Is that a trick question? Hmm. Thin blood. Do you know these words? Thin blood. Sounds familiar. Is that one of those tropical diseases? Hmm. From where did you hear the words thin blood? Hmm. I know I've heard that before. The pale, pretty flower girl muttered them, perhaps? Oh, that girl. Nice girl. First decent human being I've seen in here for years. Not like all the junkies and crazies I normally see. Yeah, I remember her. Hmm. Yeah. Good. Weird. She left the tip, but she didn't order a thing. Yeah, she looked so hungry, too. Just sat there all night with a full glass of water in front of her, talking about this and that. She seemed lonely, a little scared, so I let her stay in the booth until we closed. She left some stuff here. You seem to know her. Why don't you give it back to her if you run into her? Hmm, yes, our paths may cross. Thank you. What'll it be? By the way, in the air, a spoiled scent on the floor. Rodent pellets. You sell filth here? You're the health inspector. <laughs> I'm putting that sass in my report, too. You know, at least the last health inspector had the decency to make it clear when he was asking for a bribe. Here's 50 bucks. I get to live the dream for another exciting month. Yay. I must seek other opportunities for my corruption. Farewell. <laughs> ah, money. Hello there. Who are you? Something I can help you with. The night is as cold as a woman wronged. I guess. Something about the flame. What was that voice in my head? Hmm. A strange weight lies on your shoulders. I don't see how that's any business of yours. Dark and heavy, your burden. Goodbye, then. Mm. Yes, there's something wrong with you, sir. Not sure what it is, but something. Perhaps we'll find out later. Ah, a little phone. Burgers, pizza. Sure, a lot of pizza in this town. Well, let's see what items we got uh, from her. Let's see if we can't uh, garner some interesting information to help us find the flower. Let's see. We got a bail bond for Rolf Toten. We uh, got a photo. It's uh, August 3rd, Santa Monica, Lily, 
We've got a purse was left behind in the diner. Okay. So, Ralph Toten. And it's a bail bond. Ah, Arthur Kilpatrick's crime pewter. That's where we need to go. What the hell? What? The end is here. Well, you're a crazy man. Of the soul is pandemic. There is no hiding your true face to the judge of souls. Redemption cannot be bought and sold. There is no mercy for the deviant. Well, I guess I'm screwed. I have seen the swerve on the horizon. Hey. It's the Bell Bonds place. Hello, LA. You're up way past your bedtime, aren't you? Oh, it's you Deb. Something comfortable. Shut up, Deb. We don't need to hear that all over again. Who are you? Welcome to Kilpatrick 24 Hour Bail Bonds. My name's Arthur Kilpatrick. How can I help you? Are you the key master? Huh? Oh, I, I see what you're yapping about. Yeah, I guess you could call it that. Key master, huh? Might be worth trying. Arthur Kilpatrick, the Santa Monica Key Master. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. It sounds kind of like a bad horror movie. Hmm. Do you alone hold the keys? I gotta have a few other bondsmen to keep the place open 24 hours. Plus a bounty hunter. I pull the graveyard shift because that's when all the crazy shit happens in Santa Monica. <laughs> hmm. Is the lady by the sea so diseased? You mean Santa Monica? You sure got a strange way of saying things. This old burg has gone downhill in the past few years, if you ask me. Lots of shady types moving in, which ain't bad for business, you know what I mean? Hmm. The lady's beauty has faded. Hell yeah. I ain't complaining. I'm in a good position to watch it all just slide right down the tubes, you know what I mean? <laughs> right. Do some try to slide down the tubes without paying for your keys? You talking about bail jumpers? Yeah. As a matter of fact, we got plenty of those. That's why I got a bounty hunter for. Hunting bounties sounds exciting. You betcha. I used to do some bounty hunting myself back in the day. Really? Takes a solid set of brass balls to make a good bounty hunter, I'll tell you that much. Hmm. Does your hunter have a good... Uh, have good balls of brass? Yep, damn good. His name's Carson, and he's great at what he does when he wants to do it. I can't seem to find him now, though. He's pissing me off, to be honest. I need him to go find someone. Maybe you need to find a different set of brass balls. Well, I don't feel right cutting Carson loose just yet. We go way back. I knew his father, too. Tell you what, since I'm stuck here, why don't you go look for him? Just real quick. I'll pay you for your time. I'll dig up this hunter of bounties. Great, great. I suppose the first place you should look is his apartment in Santa Monica Suites. Apartment 1, I think it is. Maybe you'll find something there to let you know where he's got himself to. Here's a key card. That'll let you in. Hmm. I'll bring him back, my jolly little jailbreaker. Let's see. This must be the crime pewter. Let's see. Ralph Toten. Ralph Toten. Well, it's probably by last name, so S through Z. Toten R. There we are. Ah, bond written 822.03. Immigration case, blah, blah, blah. Bond amount was 15,000. Collateral was car, red, lightning bird, 77 CA. Guy Coney. Hey, I remember that plate. Notes. Go back to Germania, pal. We don't take Euro in these parts. Right. Well, someone is a southern bastard. Sorry to any southerners watching this, but sometimes southerners sound like that. <clears throat> Of the earth! 
I see.